In this video we're going to talk about seven practical ways to build your self-esteem. Now it's optional for you if you want to make this a seven day challenge. There's going to be seven ways to build your self-esteem. You can practice one way per day, make it a seven day challenge. Knowledge is great, but action is vital. We need to put into practice these things because you don't build your self-esteem from hearing a great idea. You build it in action. It's an action word. So these are really simple things. And all you need to do is pull out your little calendar or your journal or your diary or put a note on the refrigerator or anything to remind you to just practice each of these things, one per day for seven days. And it's interesting because without sounding harsh, <laughs> No one's coming to save you. No one else can build that self-esteem for you. I would love it if I could come over there with you and build it for you. And believe me, if I could do that for people, I would do that for people because it makes a powerful difference in your life when you have strong self-esteem. But the point of your life journey is to build it for yourself, is to break through and know that you can claim it for yourself and step into a new paradigm, a new relationship with yourself, a new mental frame of reference. Because your self-esteem is your own perspective and mental frame of reference about your value and your worth, which gives you a sense of self-assurance and gives you a level of satisfaction with yourself and a level of confidence so we want to be able to build that in action now we're going to dive in you can pause and take notes if you want to so we'll start with way number one for day number one of your seven day challenge the first way is to consistently interrupt self-defeating dialogue as much as other people's words can harm us and can actually have harmed our self-esteem and the development of our self-esteem from when we were young through you know, our childhood years, our teen years and relationships with others, and it's a very real way that our self-esteem gets dented, what's more harmful is the self-defeating dialogue that runs inside our own minds. So to build your self-esteem is to interrupt that which counters your self-esteem. The statements that say you are not something enough. The statements that tell you that you don't have worth or you don't have value or you can't do X, Y, Z. Those thoughts lead you nowhere but into dented self-esteem, pain and suffering. And so when you notice those come up in your mind, you want to think of your mind like a garden and those thoughts are toxic little weeds and your job is to pull them out, which simply in action means you notice them and you make an interruption in that dialogue. Because you want to also think about your mind like a conveyor belt. There's thoughts going through your mind all the time. If you buy into the thoughts and go with them and you buy the message they're selling, they gain momentum. Instead, you want to notice it coming through and you want to interrupt it. Because the more we run a thought pattern, the stronger that thought pattern, that pathway inside our mind becomes. If you run a thought over and over and over and over and over again, it becomes stronger and it gains more momentum. It ingrains inside your mind. It ingrains inside your belief programming. It gains power and it repeats back to you. So what you want to be able to do is weaken its power by interrupting it. The more you interrupt self-defeating dialogue, the less momentum it has, the less it can ingrain, okay? It's actually not just that, because when you interrupt a self-defeating thought, a thought that sucks your self-esteem away, right? You want to be able to replace it with something else because you're training your mind. And so to interrupt it, rather than just try to stop yourself having the thought, you can call the thought out and you can say that's not true. You can say, I reject that thought. You can say that thought doesn't even belong to me. That's something that I was told by my you know, parents or my ex-partner or my whatever. Wherever you might have learned those kind of thought patterns from, 
you can just call it out and interrupt it in that way but what's even more powerful is to start telling yourself something more powerful to replace it so you notice it you say that doesn't help me at all not true not helpful i reject that and then you redirect to any thought any new seed to plant within your mind that will help your self-esteem and you will know what that is because it's what you feel you need to hear you wish you could hear you wish you believed you wish other people would tell you about your worth your value your capability your inherent self and while we're on that point before we move on to way two day two you weren't born with sucky self-esteem no 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 when you were born you thought the sun shined out of your face <laughs> you were just like there hey guys i'm a baby i'm amazing i'm beautiful feed me hold me love me cuddle me give me what i want so if you were born like that what happened and the answer is two things happened number one other people told you things that dented your self-esteem and you believed them way two you had experiences and perhaps things happened to you or you did things and you made up your mind about what that meant and the story the interpretation the narrative your mind created dented your self-esteem and when you combine all of that in this human experience it's no wonder people end up with rocky self-esteem right but as adults we grow in now and we take responsibility for our self-esteem. It's in our own hands and with day one, way one, you're going to interrupt any of that self-defeating dialogue and you're going to pluck out that toxic weed and you're going to plant the seed of something better. Anything at all that will make you feel better about yourself. And to be honest, when you first start out, it doesn't feel very real when you interrupt and you say, I reject that, that doesn't belong to me, that's not true. You may have things in your mind that say, well, actually, I'm not sure, I kind of do believe that. Or you're planting the seed of something better and you're like, I don't really know if I believe that yet. That's because the old paradigm has got a grip on you. And we're not just doing one day, one way, we're doing seven days, seven ways, right? And it has a compounding effect. So you want to be consistent and repetitive and stick at it. And when you interrupt those thoughts and you plant the seed of something better, you want to say it like you mean it. When those sucky thoughts that come up that want to derail your self-esteem, you want to say, I reject that. Absolutely, categorically, I reject that and I won't have it anymore. You want to say it like you mean it and bring some power to it. So that is day one, interrupting self-defeating dialogue. So let's move on to day two, way two, where you're going to spend an entire day acknowledging your qualities. We spend way too much time looking at all the things we're not and not nearly enough time looking at all the things that we are. There is a pitfall in the personal growth industry and the pitfall is this you are messaged in a way that would have you focus on your faults because you want to grow out of your faults and so necessarily to be in personal growth means to see what isn't working see the dirt so you can clean it up see the faults so you can work on them see the weaknesses so you can strengthen yourself see the trauma so you can heal it right see the limiting beliefs so you can create a new paradigm for yourself very very beautiful and essential but the challenge is, is if you go too heavily into it for too long and you don't adequately balance it with gratitude and self-appreciation and powerful affirmations, which are literally just statements of truth that train your mind, then you can get out of kilter and it can harm your self-esteem. Like you try to kick some habits because you're doing some personal growth and then you don't manage to kick the habits. Now you feel bad about yourself. Now you're like, oh, I'm not good enough to do that, I'm not capable, or you set a goal, you don't achieve it straight away, or it takes a long time. Now you think you're not good enough to do it, now you think you're not useful, or you're not capable, or you're not whatever. You dent your self-esteem. So it's really important to spend time acknowledging your qualities. And for a lot of us, we've grown up in a culture that says it's egoic to praise yourself. It is not egoic. To praise yourself it is essential for your self-esteem that you praise yourself and you praise yourself regularly it is particularly important that you double down on this business if you don't have people around you that are praising you 
If you're lucky enough to have amazing parents, grandparents, siblings, partner, children, friends that praise you, then that's amazing because you're getting acknowledgement of your qualities from other people, but that's not enough on its own. It has to come from you as well. But if you don't have people like that around you yet, then your job is to double down on the praise of self because the more you do that, the more your whole energy changes, the more you will bring into your life people that also see that, say that, remind you of it. So I want you to spend an entire day in the seven day challenge acknowledging your qualities. I want you to say it to yourself. I want you to journal about it. I want you to remember all the awesome things that you've done in your life. I want you to start in childhood, go from 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, whatever age you are, 40 to 50, 60, 70, 70 to 80, and catalogue all the awesome things that you've either done in your life or that you are. The traits that you have, the personal qualities, the personality qualities, your strengths. And if you struggle to know what your qualities are, not just things you've done and achieved, that's one way, but the other part of it, the big part of it is your qualities, the inherent part of who you are. Go and ask someone you love and say to them, I'm doing this thing, it's this really awesome self-esteem building challenge and I need to praise myself about my qualities for an entire day and I'm struggling to see what my qualities are. You know me, can you tell me what you think my qualities, good traits, personality strengths, etc. are? And then listen up and listen closely because the people that love you can see you in a way that you don't see yourself sometimes. If you've got low self-esteem, you will really benefit from hearing it from someone that cares about you. They will see you differently. But the proviso to this is do not ask anyone unless they truly are safe, trustworthy and love you unconditionally. Because right now in the middle of our seven day challenge, we don't need any negative Nellies coming along and offloading onto you their issues, right? So we want only people that are clear, conscious, a little enlightened and extremely loving to answer that question for us. And then you want to lock your mind onto it all day long. So you do whatever you need to do. You can every hour write down one thing. You can put a reminder on your phone to have a dialogue with yourself about everything that you love about yourself, your qualities. You are in self-appreciation for an entire day. Now can you see day one you were interrupting self-defeating thoughts. Day two you're building on it and you're appreciating yourself. These things have a compounding effect and they go together like a recipe. Okay. Way three, day three. We're going to do state change during your down moments. Now what does that mean? If you're feeling down on yourself, you're not feeling good self-esteem, you're feeling self-conscious, you're feeling a little bit of social anxiety, you're doubting whether you can do something and you notice there's this shadowy, echoey, ooh, icky, sucky self-esteem thing going on, you want to instantly change your state. And what we mean by this is move your body, interrupt this whole energy and this mesmerizing moment that you're caught in, move your body, change your posture, change your facial expression, do anything that will snap you out of the state that you go into. Because when we get into our narrative about ourselves and it's negative, I call it the mesmerizing hypnotic story. <laughs> and we kind of get lost in it and we need to snap ourselves out of that funk. And the best way is to use your physical body. So star jumps on the spot, jump on the spot, put some music on and dance to it. Smile, it's really hard to stay in a low state when you start smiling, right? You force yourself to smile. Put your shoulders back, put your chin up, open your eyes more brightly. You're doing things to change your state, change your physiology that supports you to break patterns. Okay, so all you're going to do for that day as your practice is notice any moment you feel a little bit shaky. Notice any moment you feel a little bit rocky, a little bit low, a little bit down. And it might sound weird and I don't care if you feel like you're crazy. Star jump on the spot, jump on the spot, stick some music on, strike a power pose, right? Stand, put your feet apart, put your hands on your hips, put your head up, put your shoulders back. Take a few big deep breaths. State change by using your physiology in a different way. So that's going to be your action for day three. Then we've got way four, day four, is you're going to stimulate yourself into powerful high vibration emotion. 
okay so we've been remember we've been working with your mind we've been working with your awareness we've been working with your body we're working with your emotional state today and the quickest and easiest way to do this is you are going to pick your most favorite songs that make you feel the most amazing that make you feel strong and inspired and motivated and confident doesn't matter what it is so long as the music makes you feel high vibration and you're going to perhaps make yourself a little playlist if you want to or if it's just a couple of songs that's fine but you're going to listen to music all day long as often as possible listen to it when you're in the shower listen to it while you're getting ready listen to it in the car while you're driving listen to it on the train when you're commuting listen to it while you're exercising listen while you're making your dinner listen while you're doing anything and everything you're going to constantly stimulate yourself into high vibration emotions. Music is one of the simplest, most powerful ways to shift your emotional state. Music is sound and sound has vibration. You are energy, you have vibration. When the two things interact, something changes within you. You know it because you can listen to music and it instantly makes you feel sad or melancholy. You can listen to music and it instantly makes you feel excited and inspired. You can listen to music and it makes you feel like you can do anything. Yes, music is that powerful. Okay, so that's going to be your action for day four. Then way five, day five in our challenge is this. Act as if. What that means is act as if you are the person who has the self-esteem that you want. Ask yourself, if I had the kind of unshakable awesome strong self-esteem that I really desire what would I be doing what would I do differently who would I be being how would I be behaving what kinds of tasks would I be doing what kind of goals would I be taking action on what kind of words would I be saying and your job for today is to act that way I don't care if you do one thing or you do a hundred things on this day of the challenge that act as if but you've got to do at least one and to be honest if you really want self-esteem you know make it one thing an hour <laughs> right go go big or go home so make a list of the things that you think you would probably be doing saying working on if you had self-esteem that was like you know really rocking it and then behave that way you can act your way into confidence you can act your way into self-esteem you can act your way into courage you can act your way into almost anything so we are working with your beliefs your thoughts your emotions your body your action taking all of these things are part of your equation for creation of your life so we're coming at it from all different angles so now we're going to move on to way six day six so in day six you're going to practice a new narrative in your old paradigm which had low self-esteem or shaky self-esteem or self-esteem that got you so far but you want to go to new heights so you need to elevate it you had a particular story and you had a story about yourself and that story was I'm this I'm that I'm not this I can I can't it's a whole selection of your beliefs and you fully buy into it that it's your reality and it plays in your mind whether you realize it or not your job for today is to run a completely new narrative a set of statements and self-talk that are nothing but self-esteem boosting powerful and that will compound upon all the preceding days to help build up your self-esteem so you might want to sit down at the beginning of the day and make a list of what those statements are if you've been thinking you know I'm not sure if I'm really that worthy of what I want or deserving or I'm not really sure of my value or I, I feel like I'm not really that capable or I'm not good enough no more just no more you need to become intolerant of this conversation inside of yourself you were born for so much more than this I want you to say no more and I want you to make a list I'm worthy, I'm valuable, I'm deserving, I'm capable, I'm unstoppable, I believe in myself, I love myself, I accept myself. Whatever it is that you need to hear, but there is no day off when you want to be letting yourself slip and having that old negative conversation with yourself. You want to step into a new paradigm and it's going to take consistent repetitive messaging from you to yourself, from your awareness to your mind. Your mind is listening to you, your cells of your body are listening to you. What are you saying to yourself? Get on with it and be powerful. 
No one's coming to save you. You have to save yourself and you were born with everything you need to do that. So that is your way six, day six, powerful new narrative about your worth, your capability over and over and over again. And then finally, way seven, day seven. You are going to train your brain that you get what you give. You're going to train your brain that you get what you give. What I mean by this is this. You are going to go out into the world and you are going to boost the self-esteem of other people. Anyone that you encounter, your job is to treat them in a way that you see how valuable and worthy they are. You are going to say things to them that make them feel worthy and valuable. You are going to praise people. You're going to validate people. You're going to celebrate people. When you do this and you say that to other people, your brain is listening, your cells are listening, you receive what you give, you get what you give. The more you uplift others, the more you feel uplifted in yourself. For you to validate someone else, you have to know they're valid. To know they're valid, it reminds you that you're valid, that you're worthy, that you're capable. And there's so many other benefits to it, I can't even <laughs> get started on it, the list is endless. But you are training yourself that you get what you give. Go out into the world with everyone around you and your job is to build the self-esteem of other people. So that is our seven day self-esteem building challenge. Remember, consistency, repetition. You'll get out what you put in. And the last thing is as a tip, it's really powerful to build your self-esteem, but we make it harder if we're surrounded by super negative people who want to tear down our self-esteem. So if you can, just reduce your exposure to anything super negative and you'll give yourself a better chance as you press the accelerator, you take off the handbrake. But remember, it's not always possible to get away from people like that. So you want to double down. If you're around super negative people, you just remember, I can hear them talking, but it doesn't go in. I see their mouth moving, but it doesn't go in. And you just really stick to those daily routines and daily rituals that I've given you. I would love to hear from you when you've done your seven day challenge. How do you feel? What worked for you? What obstacles did you come up against? Just reach out and let me know. You can leave a message below this video in the comment section. You can reach out to me on social media or you can email me contact at thedailypositive.com. I would love to hear from you. It's been a pleasure sharing this with you.